Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Today, we're at a metal cutting laser factory that can cut metal this thick. Fire it up. I have been wanting to see a metal cutting laser for a long time now. And so when Best Cutter offered to sponsor me to come up to their supplier here in Jinan, China to see how they make these giant metal cutting fiber lasers, I jumped at the opportunity. Xu Ming, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for visiting. I want to see how they make these giant machines. But first, I think we better fire this one up and see what it can do. Okay. Uh, I have a couple ideas. <laughs> one is one I came up with. And one is what Twitter came up with when I asked them what we should cut, which I, it's, it's a funny one. I did a project earlier this year where we went to a factory that made metal business cards for me, for Strange Parts. And uh, I, I did it entirely because I thought they cut these out with a, with a laser like this oh, one. Okay. But it turns out they don't use lasers, they use chemicals. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can click on it up here. But I still really want to see a metal business card cut with a laser. So okay. I was wondering if that's something that we can do on your machine. Yeah, absolutely. What's the first step here? Kevin is the operator. He can help you. Oh. Okay, awesome. Hi, Kevin. So, oh, it looks like you've already got my design loaded up here. Cut this. Okay. And then et, uh, etch this, mark this. So you, you need to set uh, two layers. Ah, okay. Yep. Yes. So we can have two different layers. settings yes. for each layer. Oh, you've got it all configured in here for the material yeah. already. So we're just dialing in the speed and how much power yeah. and how high is the yeah, head. Yeah, that's not I just know. I, I said the uh, parameters. Can you hear the sound? Yep, it's I hear laser. The, the beeping. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the lasers. Laser, yes. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that looks great. Let's see how we did. Yeah, maybe oh, darker is, on uh, the... Uh, it's not clear. We need to change the parameter. Yeah, make it yeah. stronger. This is pretty cool. Uh, this, it's got much sharper edges than the one that was chemically etched. Let's compare these side by side. It's pretty darn close. Oh, you're switching, switching cutting gases. Switching to oxygen. So what's the difference between oxygen and nitrogen in terms of what, you, what happens? Uh, usually, if you want to cut uh, carbon steel, you know, like this carbon steel, uh, use oxygen. If you cut uh, stainless steel, aluminum brass, you uh, use uh, nitrogen. What do you think? Still dialing it in. Hey guys, uh, put that oh. goggle on, that okay. will protect your eye. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. The super fine point on the laser. Success. <laughs> that looked a lot better. Yeah, so we need, we need something to poke out the letters, yeah, yeah. but. Yeah. yeah, okay, so let's look side by side. Where's the, this is the etched one. It looks pretty awesome. The same amount of detail between the two. Mm. You know what comes to mind though? This machine, this is a giant machine. Yeah. And we're using it to make a tiny little business card. I think we should make a giant business card. Giant. What do you, can we do that, Xu Ming? Yeah. What, what if we made a card that was like, I don't know, like this big? Okay. And yeah. maybe can we, can we get some thicker metal and really show like, Okay. I want to see how thick this thing can cut. For thicker metal, we have a higher power laser. Okay. And uh, we can come this way. This is uh, our uh, 12,000 watt uh, laser machine with okay. uh, 8.5 foot by 20 foot. So, <laughs> so, so this, is tw this is 20 feet deep here? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. So we can cut a pretty large business card. Yeah. How, how many foot do you want? I think 20 foot might be too big. <laughs> sure. I was thinking like, I don't know, like this big, something okay. like that, like All that right. big? Yeah, that well. So how thick can we cut? We can cut uh, uh, about uh, two inches. <laughs> two inches, so like that yeah. much? Yeah. Okay, but, let's but, do that. But that card will be too heavy to uh, lift. That will be over oh, 100 right. pounds. I want to still be able to lift it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think uh, three eighths or half inch would be a good okay. choice. Okay. Yeah. Usually we should close the door. Yeah. Uh, but uh, like we are only cutting a smaller piece with goggle, um, but that's a, not a, a normal, uh, safe practice. Right. So if if this was in a factory, we'd close the door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this is okay if we're just wearing glasses. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh my God! It's super loud. Okay, so marking out the youtube.com slash strange parts. Whoa! Oh my god. 
I can see why you want to close the door. <laughs> it's like being at a campfire. Oh, oh man. It's so precise, even though it's still it's cutting so big and so thick. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Look at that. That came out super good. Yeah, I'm worried it's hot. Is it? No, you see? No? Can touch it. That's the beauty of laser. It's a, with a very little heat, uh, heat impact zone, yeah. uh, it's a good for you to do welding. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's poke these out. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Look at that. You can put that in your wallet. <laughs> That's kind of awkward. I feel like I want a handle on top so that I can carry it like a briefcase to work. Okay. So I can carry it to meetings and be like, here's my business card. Okay. Thunk. All right. So I drew <laughs> the most basic handle. We got it loaded up. And do you have it all? I like your glasses. It makes you look like a rapper. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are we good? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Woo! That was super fast. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, seems pretty good. So, like here? That looks good, right? Yeah. Good, it looks like suitcase. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. We need to attach it. Yeah, we, can, we have a fiber laser welding machine. Oh. We can weld this to that. Uh, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. So we had a little bit of a problem. The laser welder uh, demo machine that they had um, is out of calibration a little bit. So we had to wait, and we're at a different, their old factory location that has a working demo unit uh, today, this morning. We're going to weld it here, and then we'll go back over to the other factory. So come with me. So can you teach me how to do this? OK, of course. I, I, I've welded a little bit. Okay. But never with a laser welder. If you press uh, this button, and it will start to weld. Okay. okay. So the, the laser will come out. Yeah. Wow. That looks really easy. That's way cleaner than uh, than like a MIG weld, uh, or even a yes. TIG weld. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's beauty. Is oh, it good? Very good. What do you think, Shuming? You come yeah. work at your laser welding shop. It's <laughs> very good. Can we try it with this one? Okay. So higher power now, yeah? High, high power? power. That's pretty good. All right, so I'll probably tack, 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 yeah, tack. Yes. Maybe, maybe one, two, three, one, two, three, and then maybe, line. Uh, one, two, three, slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Slow. All right. The other side, yeah. need to touch the metal. If you yeah. don't touch it, it don't run. Oh, is that for safety? Yeah. Yes. Oh, got it. Okay. That's, I was wondering how, if I push the button, it doesn't shoot into the camera person's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now a line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it on the back first in case okay. I screw it up. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Uh, Deep enough? Yes. For strong enough? Yeah. Now that. Now this side. Yeah. Well, it's not super pretty, but it's not bad. And then do the sides, or you think no? Okay. okay. It's not hot. It's not hot here. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Successful. All right. Successful. Thank you for teaching me. This is super cool. <laughs> now I can be a proper businessman with my business card briefcase on my way to a meeting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is super awesome. This is so cool. I've got one more test for you. I still don't think we're properly showing off what your laser cutter can do. So let's go back to the other factory where we, we've got the showroom. I have the idea from Twitter that I wanted to show you. This, I asked Twitter what we should cut. This is what they said. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? It's so, good. Yeah. I, I'm thinking like we cut it like this thick. This is made out of stainless steel and it's all the rage right now. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, I don't know what to think of it. Like maybe this thick and cut it like this big out of stainless steel? 
Yeah, you could have the drawing, yeah. Okay, all right. I did, a, I did do a drawing last night. Uh. Uh, maybe we can load it up. Okay, yeah, that looks good to me. You said off camera, we only have one shot to get this right because we only have enough gas for one, nitrogen gas for one cut, is that right? Yes. Okay, so we better hope that we, we got all the settings correct. Yes. All right, I'm ready, let's do it. Oh, man. Do we know what happened? We had to stop, but I don't know why. So what's happening was uh, uh, when they cut a straight line, everything's fine. Yeah. But when they are making turns, uh, the gas didn't have enough time to evaporate from the liquid form. Oh. So at the corner, we may need to uh, make a pause. And okay. So give it a little time. Yeah. Uh, we, we need a bigger evaporator in such oh, a situation. I see. Yeah. So the machine is fine. It's just the it's just the gas supply that's not yeah, specced yeah, out for yeah. this. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Just because it's a this is a demo yes. demo room. So yeah. The, yeah. the, the evaporator needs a bigger size. Yeah. Got it. So the we've got the nitrogen tank here, right? Yeah. And that's liquid nitrogen. Oh yeah, you yeah. can see. Can oh, see. this was not frosted up before. Oh wow. So Kevin now is looking for a new spot for redo the cutting. So yeah. earlier, because the gas couldn't keep up. And uh, if we continue, there will be more stuff uh, being blown up uh, uh, from that uh, uh, spot. Okay, so you can't start again from, you can't, can't keep going. From, yeah, yeah, no, okay. we, we need a new spot. Now right. we got a new So we're going to make another one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ready? Go through. It's done. Finished? All right. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh. All right. Woo. I present to you the world's first miniature Cybertruck. <laughs> well, there you go, Twitter. Cybertruck, cut out of stainless steel alloy, similar to, uh, to what the real Cybertruck is made out of. So I think we've been having a lot of fun running this laser cutter, but I think it's time we go see how they're made. Okay. Shall we head over to the factory? Okay. All right, All right. great. In this room, uh, workers are cutting up the pipes and weld them to the frame to build the uh, heavy-duty bed that will support the machine's uh, uh, weight. Got it. Oh. It is so loud in here. Uh. We're having a hard time even hearing each other. Yeah. This is really cool. So this is just heavy-duty ironwork or steelwork. Well, let's go take a close-up look at what some of these guys are doing. This is the sheet metal section where we laser cut a metal sheet and use the press brake to bend them, in, form them into the cabinet and shorting for the machine. For example, this is the cabinet for the computer monitor and some electronics. For like the, the control electronics for yeah. the machine. A lot of precise bending and, and welding going on. This is an example of what you would bend on a press break. Uh, this has some sharp corners here and then this nice arc. And it, it, it's meant to fit, fit this piece here. Uh, and then this will all be welded up. Um, this piece would start as some sort of uh, uh, laser cut shape. And then they'll stick it in the press break to bend it up into whatever, whatever shape it's supposed to be. Ming, what is this? <laughs> this is super cool. This is a mill center. And uh, use this machine to ground the top surface of the bed very flat. Yeah. So we can mount uh, the, the track and the rack and pinion on here. Got uh, it. For the gantry to ride on later. Got it, got it. So this, this has to be perfectly flat so that the machine is accurate. Yes. Yeah. It's a very crucial step to ensure the accuracy. Yeah. This is awesome. This is, I think, the largest CNC mill I've ever seen. And this is the small one in here. There's a larger one over here that they're setting up for a new job. 
that's sunken down into the floor. It's so big. Right. Okay, so what is this? This is, is a powder coating roll. Okay. Is it it's like paint? Yes. Okay. So we use a high voltage spray gun to spray the powder to the grounded metal. So he's got it's like a powder, a dry powder. And then yes. it's got like a static charge on it? Yes. And, and then it sticks to the grounded metal. Right. Got it. After and that, uh, we need to use high temperature to bake it down. Like an oven? Yes. And that's probably what this is. Yeah. Holy smokes. This is a little bit scary. They're so big. And then put it in the oven back here. That's pretty awesome. So after the powder coating, we put the parts uh, to this room. Yeah. for final assembly. So this is the frame that we saw being built up over there. Yes. And then the sheet metal and all of that that we saw powder coated. Right. Got it. So now it's starting to look like a real machine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. This room is filled with like laser cutters in various states of assembly. Yeah. Uh, you've got one over here that looks like it's more fully put together. So they've done a lot on this machine, it looks like. The process of assembling this is very similar to the UV printer video that we did earlier this year. If you haven't seen that, you can click on it in the upper corner. We, we talked a lot about installing all the parts in a machine yeah. like this. Um, we actually did that video together. Uh, that's one of your other groups or yeah. other companies in the same group yes. uh, selling, selling UV printers. Um, but I wanted to talk what's different about this machine than like a UV printer. Yeah, so for the um, basic mechanical move, X, Y, Z, they are pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, the only is uh, the other machine carry print head. This one carry laser head. Okay. This is the laser head. And so is this the laser? No, it's uh, just a focusing beam. Ah, okay. This is the laser. Yeah. I in think, the box here. Yeah, I think uh, this is uh, 2000 watt. So no, uh, like no glass tube, like a CO2 laser. No, no. Got it. And then it gets from here to there? Right, through the fiber optics. Right, okay. That's how the fiber laser come from. That's where the name fiber laser oh, comes from. Oh, I thought it was how the laser was actually generated, but it's no, it's the fact that it comes through a, yeah. a fiber optics. Yeah, this Got is it. a water chiller. Yeah. For cooling the laser generator and the laser head. Okay. And then what's this big thing up here? Is this part of this machine? Yes, this is a control cabinet uh, where all the servo yep. motor drive and uh, power connection. Yeah. Awesome. So Xuming, I think everybody, including me, has a big question, which is how much does one of these machines cost? Uh, this machine, 10 to 12,000 watt. Uh -huh. uh, our price is uh, half a million dollars. Oh, wow. OK, so this is no small investment. <laughs> uh, no. However, compared to our competition, yeah. our price is about half. Oh, wow. OK. So <laughs> it's still a lot of money. What would you pay for one of the smaller machines? A smaller one, uh, 1500 watt, 5 by 10 table yeah. is uh, about uh, 85,000. OK. And is that the smallest machine you make, or do you have smaller ones? Uh, we have a, a smaller, like a 4 by 4 fiber laser and a 4 by 3 CO2 laser. OK. Uh, that one is uh, $11,000. Okay, so that's what people would more traditionally think of when they think of a laser cutter. Right. You know, like that you might have uh, for cutting acrylic or wood or, or um, cardboard. Yeah. But not, not for metal. No. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, where, where should people go if they want to find out more about your machines or get in contact with you about, about buying one? Yeah, to our website, bestcutter.com. Okay, yeah. awesome. And we'll put a link to that down in the description uh, if you want to find out more. Thank you so much for having me. This has been an amazing adventure. And, uh, and thank you for all your patience and the, and the patience from the factory here. We've been here for three days making this video. And uh, I know we've, we've gotten a lot of people's hair. So <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, you're really welcome. I'm Scotty from Strange Parts. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. We've got a bunch more factory tours coming up soon. Stay tuned. I'll see you again soon.